Hello guys, welcome to my new Changing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to test and build a virgin hutao. Virgin is a reaction between dendro, hydro, and pyro. Uh, first, you need to apply hydro, then you need to apply pyro. So the reaction that triggers is the virgin reaction, and we're gonna test this virgin reaction to the straight-on vaporized reaction. Uh, you'll see if we're gonna do the virgin reaction thingy. Sometimes uh, may uh, huto maybe also gonna hit the vaporized reaction. So it's a very mixed feeling. What I'm trying to do here, the ideal team for me. Uh, for Hu Tao is uh, Hu Tao, Zhongli, Xinqiu and Mona but what we gonna like the idol team for Hu Tao for me is uh, Hu Tao, Zhongli, sure. Xinqiu and here we add uh, Mona the so there is having a two hydro you know the resonance here so increase HP by 25% then we having a Mona burst Mona burst also increase a, a, a massive amount of damage what we gonna do here we gonna replace Mona with Nahida here so what's gonna happen here guys we gonna get more uh, like 250 elemental mastery from Nahida's ult and then the dendro application what with the dendro application we gonna hit the virgin reaction so I'm gonna compare this team to the Mona's um, Mona's team this with the same artifacts same uh, weapon nothing changes everything here is F2P friendly gonna be F2P friendly the builds and the characters so let's go so quick uh <coughs> like quickly i just show you my build on all all characters start with the hutao who on hutao i'm having 67 crit rate 150 crit damage with 344 elemental mastery of course i'm using dragon's vein my dragon's vein or r2 the artifact i'm using crimson rich for peace and on sands i'm using the hp percentage and with the zhongli i'm using this build black lift this two piece two piece and my 445,000 hp and the stride i'm having this on Shinku, I'm strad having this and using weapon sacrificial artifacts four piece emblem two piece two piece here with the weapon Favonius codex and uh, no, no, I'm not using trailing tails here uh, even you uh, you can also use trailing tails there but I'm not giving any extra buffs just want to compare the two teams so and then I'm using this right this, this just doesn't matter we're gonna burst the ult which is on 11 level all are on maximum with the no constellation only the constellation having on Mona and Shinkyu but beside that no Huta no and also my Nahida looks like this no constellation talents are on 10 8 <coughs> artifact 2 piece 2 piece weapon I'm using sacrificial I'm having 950 elemental mastery here uh, with the 40% and 188 ratio so let's straight on go to the damage test Rain outlines your fate. Let me scroll. Written in the stars. Rain outlines your fate. Huh? Stabilize. So okay guys so this is going to be like damage is going to be similar not a very huge difference so what I want to try I want to try one thing and I might be stupid but let's try one thing include Nahida Shinkyu and Mona with Huta so what's happening exactly happening here we're getting 250 elemental mastery from Nahida's burst we're getting damage buff from Mona's burst we're getting 
constant hydro applica application from Shinkyu and we also getting constant constant dendro application from Nahida. So we are hitting the bloom reaction here. We are hitting the vaporized reaction here and we are also hitting the virgin reaction here. So this is going to be very insane. We are hitting lots of lots of reactions here getting buff from Nahida and Mona. So I want to see how this team going to be gonna working and the weapon I'm using here is the staff of Homa. The max maximum elemental mastery I can get is 125 because I don't have any elemental mastery sands here or the better pyro damage here in Crimson Witch. So I can only use one offset that's going to be the pyro damage goblet. Besides that I don't have any Crimson Witch artifact so I'm stuck with this but you can also go with uh, uh, elemental mastery sand here if you're using the weapon star of Homa. so we're gonna compare with both we're gonna compare uh, damages with the uh, dragon's bane and star of Homa both and we're gonna see the max on which weapon we can get the max uh, damage uh, i'm also uh, only having the r2 dragon's bane here. so let's go and test this guys lightning i see everything Take yourselves at home! Witness the power of the uh -huh. <laughs> Written in the stars! Alright guys, so conclusion is the version Hu Tao is not that worth. If you are going to use uh, a team which includes a Dendro character, you have to sacrifice one of the other characters. Like the ideal team for me for Hu Tao is the Hu Tao Zhang Li Shing Mona. Mona provides additional buff in uh, in her elemental burst, and ha having two hydro character, you can gain a um, uh, increase more 25% HP and strongly here working uh, best for a support and providing a very strong shield if you break this team and add uh, another uh, add a dendro character here which provides you extra elemental mastery or something else you have to uh, switch between zhongli or mona or switching between uh, zhongli and mona is a big loss like if you lose your zhongli you lose a pro very strong shield which is well needed in case of huta and if you uh, switch your mona you uh, you are switching uh, for a hydro resonance and a burst uh, buffer character like a buffer multiplier buffer character so uh, one more team that many people uses many people Let's also this goes for this team like Zhongli, uh, Shinkyu, Albedo uh, or many people also go with this team Zhongli, Huta, Zhongli, Shinkyu and Shangli uh, having the two pyro characters you can get 25% increase and with the C6 Shangli you can also get extra 15% pyro damage bonus C6 Shangling also provide extra C6 extra extra 15% pyro damage bonus, and many people uses here uh, Thoma in place well, of uh, Shangli, and here they use either Some Albedo or research. Mona. This but I don't think using Thoma is going to be very idle option because I have seen Thoma. I have seen Thoma in many of my friends ID. I build it Thoma very well, but the she problem is this Toma shield is not that strong it's the weakest in the game i if i compare to any other uh four star character like diona Leila, uh or any uh, character that provides shield even the noel the Toma shield is very very strong like literally very strong having 
a shield or not having a shield is the same in the case of Thoma. So I, I don't recommend anyone to use Thoma as a shielder. You can use Thoma as a pyro residence here and you can switch sure. to Yongli here. But I don't recommend Thoma using as a main shielder here because Thoma shield is not that strong. In my opinion, if you want to use something, you can go for the Shangling here and or you can go for the Hydro Shield here. But I don't know if there is, there is a Hydro Shield in the game. Uh, yes, there is no Electro Hydro Shield in the game. So the team going to be like this, as I said, you can also add Kazuha in between here. Like you can also add Kazuha here or anywhere. But the my favorite team is the is the Shong, uh, Huta, Zhongli, Shinkyu and Mona's team. This team is just perfect. My Huta hit over 1 lakh this something like 1 lakh 20 k around with staff of Oma build. If I manage to get R5 Bane, my Huta can easily hit 1 lakh to 1 lakh 10 k damage in one charge attack. I'm not talking about the elemental burst, only the elemental skills charge attack. So Huta is that much capable. So uh, many 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 are asking me like virgin huta is the is worth or not i don't think the virgin reaction overall overall is the worth in the game is the is one of one of the weakest contender in the reaction department vaporize melt hyper bloom and the aggravate reaction these four reactions are very high currently in the game i don't think uh virgin in the in that high uh reaction damage category so guys yes this is the video about who is giving the virgin reaction if you use your huta with a den the dendro character how's your huta is gonna perform if you use your huta huta with the dendro character one reaction there is a between uh, uh dendro and pyro that's called burning burning having like const constant pyro damage nothing else and then bur uh, including pyro hydro and dendro there's a reaction called virgin which is basically a aoe dendro damage reaction so these two reactions are the not that worth reactions they are just you know normal reactions not with high damage so Huta is based on reaction damage, but uh, still Huta is not giving very high version reaction damage. So in my opinion, if you want to use your Huta with best reactions, you'll always go with the vaporized reaction. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any question related to any Genshin character, you can ask me in the comment. And if you think I said something in this video, I'm stupid. You can correct me in the comment with, in a very respectful way. We'll meet in the next video guys. Till then, bye bye. Take care.